That way you can see the drift better. Alright, so drifting right, add a little bit of left aileron, nose comes left, now you need that left aileron and that little bit of right rudder. So we'll get that left aileron in to stop our drift. Uh, we'll keep the nose pointed right at the end, alright, we're good. This thing is so sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of it. When we do those, uh, if you do a full forward slip, you can get the nose about 45 degrees off of your uh, line of flight. Your flight path, which is pretty, uh, pretty good. Tower break 264, runway 1, 2 left cleared for the option. 1, 2 left cleared for the option, 264. Alright, I've got the aircraft. You have a plane? I'm going to demo one, uh, two point landing here for you. Okay. Uh, all else being equal, I like to fly just on the inside of this intersection up here. Kind of this road that goes right by the airport and yeah. then the road on the north side of the airport just so I can stay nice and close and get patterns done quick. Also, North Las Vegas Tower, good morning, a helicopter. Good reference to look for, you know, all winds being equal is the runway should be just kind of below that cross brace, right about where, if we're on the other runway, the PO2 would be. Papa Tango, North Las Vegas Tower. Yes, sir, information echo at the BLM fire ramp, uh, I'd like to depart to the west. Uh, 215, this pass, make left traffic. Two one five on this pass, make left close traffic. Approach my pattern altitude. Two one five is now for left close uh, traffic. And we'll call the Tango, numbers. Thank you. Departure by line, touchdown paddle, point. Turn risk westbound. Uh, nice to slow to idle. Turn verify information. Echo. I do have echo westbound departure approved for four nine eight. Pop Tango. Thank you. Yeah, I'm at thirty to forty five degrees over my shoulder. About the same as for other uh, other airplanes. So got my 70, a little bit slow, we'll get that back here in the turn. Now, roll wings level, I can take a look at my aim point. Uh, aim point right about by that cross brace, that ought to be good. See it drifting up in the wing, now about a third of the way between the cross brace and the bottom of the wing. I've got my 70. Cessna 215, remain runway 1 to right. Runway 1 to right, clear for the option, and then on the go, right traffic. All right, 1 to right is cleared for the option for 215. A little bit high, you know, if I were trying to short field it, I'd maybe slip a little bit, but this would be right about where I want to be, I think. So maintain my 70 all the way down. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of power because it's going to be a two point. So I'm going to break that rate of descent here. I'm just flying over the runway. Here's my two point attitude. Not going to go any forward than that. I'm just going to let it drop onto the runway. Idle and forward. And that was a little bit more of a drop than I was going for. Now sticks slowly coming forward. So maintaining that two point attitude. Bluff line speed. Almost bluff line speed. But uh, we'll take it around, we'll do it as a touch and go. Usually that's about the point where you'd fly the nose to the ground. Tail to the ground. Up to eight, pop tango, frequency change approved, good luck. Now here's that, go level eight, back off and ground effect. Here's my 70, 75, and climbing away. All right, you've got the aircraft. Okay, my plane. 